Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. The new year can be the start of a new cycle if you choose for it to be, but you can always choose to create your own cycle at any time. For me, to be really honest, February feels like the January that everybody talks about for me, but maybe January 1st is bringing you brand new energy. Well, what I'm doing on this podcast episode today is replaying how to set your intentions with your spirit guides, especially when it comes to the new year. So you can listen to this anytime during the year, anytime you want to have a new cycle. Now, inside of this episode, you'll hear me talk about spiritual business incubator. Instead of applications being open, there is a waiting list. So if you are interested in spiritual business incubator, you can join the wait list. I'm not sure when it will open again, but I do talk about it on this episode. So if you're interested in joining, you can just sign up on the wait list and I'll notify you when it's ready. All right. Take a deep breath and let's set our intentions for new cycles. Welcome to Spiritual and Ambitious. I'm your host, Whitney McNeil. I'm a certified medium and spiritual teacher, and I help spiritual and ambitious souls just like you live your life purpose through your career and attract abundance by connecting into your intuition and spirit guides. Let's get spiritual and ambitious. As we dive into the new year, I wanted to give you some messages from my Messenger of Spirit Oracle deck. The first message is yes, you are seeing things clearly. This also has to do with visualizing the outcome, which is really perfect when we're talking about starting a new cycle, doing new things. We can get caught up in the weeds and the details. So, Spirit's telling you, yes what you're thinking about, what you're seeing, what you're envisioning for yourself is true. Let's focus on the outcome and not try to worry about all the details. Now, the next card is the card of the fairies. Stop thinking so much. Remember to play. We can get again caught up in the weeds. We're thinking too much. We have to move our bodies. And when we are in a state of play and joy and fun, we manifest more easily. Also, it breaks up that fear and that negativity cycle. And you also have the card, the loved ones and spirit card. Your ancestors are visiting. It's time to heal old limiting beliefs and patterns. Whenever this card comes up, there's a limiting belief that you have most likely from your ancestors, something that your mom, your dad, your grandparents thought, a way of being, a limiting pattern. This is a calling to not allow those things to hold you back from your path and your purpose. So when I look at the new year, I often will basically say, I am not bringing XYZ into the new year with me. And by the way, if you're wanting a release ritual, check out the episode before this one to help you release and recenter. But as you focus into something new, a new energy, a new cycle, it's really important for you to take note of what you know you are done with and what you want in your life. I love the Andy Grammer song, I Don't Want to Be 85. One of the lyrics is, I don't want to be 85 and get to the end of my life and think, oops, I missed it. So for me, I 100% knew I wanted to live my life purpose through my business, but I couldn't do it like for years because I was stuck in limiting beliefs and patterns. And this was from my family. Now, my family is awesome. They're amazing, but we all have our own inner shit, right? That we have to deal with. So for me, I really had to break free of that fear cycle. And I also looked to see what other people were doing. I needed proof. My mind needed proof to see that other spiritual business owners could be successful. So if you're nodding your head and you're feeling this way, and you are someone that wants to turn your life purpose into your business, 
Applications are open for Spiritual Business Incubator. You can go to messengerspirit.com forward slash SBI to apply. And we're only taking 20 spots. I can't wait to read your application. And when you send it in, DM me over on Instagram. My Instagram is in the show notes. You can find me all over different social medias at Messenger of Spirit. Before we set our intentions, I want you to dive deeper on what your dreams and desires really are. Not the ego version of ourselves where we're thinking, I'm going to make a million dollars or I'm wanting this thing. That's all great, but it's not most likely coming from your energy and your heart space. So I want you to get really clear on what you feel called to do. I really want you to tune into your heart energy. So the way I do this is I hold my hands over my heart and I feel gratitude. I breathe in and out. And you can even imagine a pink rose right there in the center of your chest. And with each breath, Open that rose, see it blossom and bloom and this beautiful pink and green energy just starts to emanate. And as it emanates, it grows with each breath that you take and it moves all around your energy field until you really feel gratitude, love, self-care and intention. And then you can ask your energy, where do you feel most guided? Now, a lot of you are going to say to help people, but let's go deeper. Where do you feel you can be of the best service to others in joy and abundance? What would you want to do every single day that lights you up? And heads up, whatever your answer is now, it might not be what it was last year. We shift we change. So get really honest with what that looks like. Maybe you're teaching in programs. You are working with people one-on-one. You are helping your family. You are having children. You're having the most aligned relationship. Really get clear on your dreams and desires. And then move a little deeper. What dreams and desires are in alignment with my life purpose? And see what comes up through your intuitive language. This could be a vision of what you're doing. Maybe you're speaking on stage or writing a book. Maybe you hear people laughing, talking, your own voice teaching others or healing others, talking to clients, whatever that might look like. Do you feel this exuberant energy, and where do you feel that you are? And then sometimes you just know. I just know what I want. I don't need to think about it. I didn't feel it, hear it, or see it. I just know. That's the voice of the channeler. What is your body doing when you are in this place? So those are some tips. Now that you have your dreams and desires and which ones are in alignment with your life purpose, What steps do you need to take right now to start you on the path? I don't want you to get caught up in the weeds and think I've got to do this and I've got to do that. I've got to plan all this out and it's going to take X amount of months. Just what is the right next step that you want to do right now? And ask your body, ask your energy, ask your higher self and your spirit guides. Now, let's say that one of your dreams and desires was to backpack across Europe. And you feel that your body isn't in shape. Well, one of the first steps to getting to that could be, I need to eat healthier. I need to exercise, whatever that might look like. Let's say that you are speaking on stage and that was a dream and desire that you have. Well, what is the first next step that you need to take to get there? So if you feel like you're not confident in your speaking ability, or you are looking at your wardrobe and you're thinking, I don't have any clothes to actually get on stage, then one of your first steps might be, I'm going to get some clothing so that when the opportunity comes, I'm prepared. Or I'm going to go ahead and seek out a speech coach because I want to feel really confident and I am serious about this. 
So this is where your spirit guides come in. While you're asking yourself these deep questions and you're just getting really clear, you can call on your spirit guides and tell them your dreams and desires that are in alignment with your life purpose. And then I want you to ask them, what is the right next step for me to take right now to start this new cycle? And then see what comes through your intuitive language. Then ask them, will you please create opportunities that are in alignment for these intentions and goals? So that's part of the conversation. Once you've done that, really get clear with your own energy and with yourself. You can put your hands over your heart again or your solar plexus. Your spirit guides are there. And I'm going to ask you, what are you truly in your heart of hearts? that feels manageable and doable, what are you ready to commit to? So if we say, I'm going to work 60 hours a week, that is really an unrealistic goal. We want you to be in balance. Choose something that feels really good. An example, because this comes up a lot in the new year, weight loss. Sometimes people choose very lofty goals. Or if you want to start your business, sometimes you choose a very lofty goal to aspire to for an income. But if your brain and your energy, if they don't believe that it's really achievable, or you don't believe that it's easily achievable, nine times out of 10, you're going to self-sabotage. You won't get that goal because you know that it is challenging. It's okay to set the lofty goal as a wonderful best goal, but go ahead and start with something that's a little bit more manageable for you so that you can do that. Now, I'm not trying to limit what you're manifesting. I'm just telling you that if you put it too far out there and your mind, your emotions, your body, your spirit really doesn't believe that it will happen, then there's no point, right? So start with a smaller goal and you can still have the larger goal, but let's not set necessarily a time limit on it. All right. Now that you know what you're ready to commit to, I want you to think about when you set goals similar to this, or you set other goals and you feel like you got off track. So I know this sounds like I'm talking about the negative. That is not my intention, but it's like doing investigative energy work. You are looking at where you feel like you got off track. Once you determine where you feel like you got off track, maybe you had lack of support, maybe you set too lofty of a goal, maybe you had imposter syndrome and let it take over your mission to achieve these goals, maybe you feel like you just let life took over. Whatever those obstacles are, write them down. And I want you to talk to your guides and tell them, please help me overcome these obstacles. How can we shift these so that they're no longer a barrier? So you're doing this partnership work with your guides. And also now you know how to set yourself up for success. Now you know what you're going to avoid. So let's say a family situation came in and kind of knocked you off your path. Well, now you know that you need to schedule things so that you have better boundaries so that you are stronger in your energy. So we're going to talk a little bit more about this and new opportunities and what your spirit guides do when we come back after this quick break. It's the new year and it's time to set those intentions. I know that we get to a place where we feel like, oh my goodness, I feel like I'm on my spiritual path. Now, what the F do I do? And that's why I created my Align Spiritual Mentorship Program. Inside this program, we are consistent with developing our intuition and staying aligned in our energy and to our life path, purpose, and abundance. Align is a mentorship program at a membership price. This is ongoing. So we have something every week and every month there is a new theme. It's different. It's not a course. We have a training program to help you raise your vibration, but really it's a coaching program where I'm going to be doing channeled messages every month. I give you a meditation every month, a new theme to focus on in your energy and hot seats with me. So I answer your questions and help shift your energy to the next level. Everyone's next level looks really different, but one thing is true. 
We have to be consistent in our spiritual growth or we start to stagnate. It's just like dusting our house. Guess what? We dust and there's more dust that comes in. Sometimes we think we've gotten to the top of the mountain, but we actually need to keep training our energy to stay aligned. And we are ever-changing beings and so is our path. So we have to be open to pivots. So I'd love for you to apply for Aligned. This is a perfect time in the new year. You can go to messengerofspirit.com forward slash aligned and submit your application. This membership is for people who are not at the very beginning of their spiritual journey. This is to stay consistent and it's perfect if you've worked with me before, but we are now opening up applications to people who have not taken my courses before. Messengerofspirit.com forward slash aligned. Hey there, thanks for hanging around. We are talking about setting your new year intentions with your spirit guides. And so far, you've determined your dreams and desires, which ones are in alignment with your life purpose, and you are getting really clear with what you are ready to commit to and where you've gotten off track. And you've asked your spirit guides to create new opportunities and to help you move past these obstacles. So when you ask your spirit guides to help you move past these obstacles, guess what happens? You get the obstacle. It's going to be right there in front of your face and you get to confront it head on. So know that when you see that obstacle and you're like, I listened to Whitney's podcast and she told me I was getting rid of these obstacles and now they're just right here in my face. That's part of the process. It's coming up to the surface so that you can remove it. A lot of times we kind of shove them down. And if we're really ambitious, we want them to be right there so we can say, look, look at me, I'm making progress. I'm going to move past this obstacle. So for instance, if a family or a friend perhaps doesn't have good boundaries and you feel that neediness, like you need to be there to help them, and I'm not talking about an emergency situation here, then you know, I'm sorry, I already have a commitment. Now, You don't even have to say, I'm sorry. That's a whole nother conversation, but you already have a prior commitment. You don't have to tell them what your prior commitment is. And it's time to put yourself first. Now, of course, if somebody has an emergency, that's a whole different situation. But I'm talking about when somebody knocks on your door, somebody wants to talk to you right away, hold your energy boundaries. A lot of times spiritual and ambitious souls will feel like they have to put themselves last when in fact, you need to be really taking care of yourself. You know, when it comes to being a business owner, family and friends kind of think that you don't do anything sometimes. They're like, well, you're a business owner. Can't you change your hours around? Uh, Actually, no, it doesn't really work like that. I mean, I could, but it actually is going to require more work for me to move my entire schedule for you to accommodate your schedule when I could just continue to do what I'm doing. So really stand in your boundaries and your power. Now that you know what you're ready to commit to, I would love for you to tell your spirit guides how serious you are about it and what you are really looking for, what you're aiming for, and that you're asking them to help create those opportunities. So here's what happens. Your spirit guides create an opportunity. They kind of get excited about it. Look at me. You know, I've created this awesome opportunity. And now you have to say yes. Now you could choose not to say yes. But all that's going to do is deflate the situation. You will make up some excuses about why you can't move forward or nitpick it apart. This is the ego making up excuses not to take new opportunities. We are never going to feel 100% confident in doing new things. We are going to feel nervous. We're going to feel scared. And some intuitive people will say to me, well, Whitney, I feel nervous. Does that mean it's a bad thing? No, when you're moving into new territory, it can feel a mixture of excitement and nervousness, especially when you're starting your own business or pivoting your business or doing something that you've never done before. Now, when you say yes to those opportunities, you raise your vibration. So you become lighter, you grow spiritually and you grow as a human and you create trust and a stronger bond with your spirit guides. So they are creating them. It's up to you to say yes. Now, what happens sometimes is people will say, you know what? I can't. I can't because of the money or I can't because of the time or I can't, I can't, I can't. And 
I'm not saying those are invalid. Those can be very valid depending on what's going on. I'm going to invite you to look a little deeper though. Instead of just off the cuff blocking it, because we start blocking the opportunities, I'd like for you to get really curious and go, hmm, how could I? All right, my spirit guides are putting this opportunity in front of me. So how could I do this? How can I do this? Hmm, I'm not used to this. So maybe I need to get out of my comfort zone. So maybe you have to rearrange your schedule. Maybe you look for financing. Now I'm not giving you any kind of financial advice. I'm just giving you an idea. Maybe you look at, okay, I'm going to put my focus here and I'm going to stop paying for X, Y, Z. I don't know. I'm telling you that when you feel really drawn to the opportunity and it feels really perfect, you will find a way. So know that your spirit guides are creating them, but it is going to feel a little bit out of reach. And then sometimes when you say yes to the opportunities your spirit guides create for you, it doesn't work out the way your mind thinks it will. Sometimes we go, oh my gosh, this is going to be freaking amazing. And then we get into it and we're like, okay, this is not what I thought it was. Two things happens when this comes about. One, your spirit guides can be just testing the waters. Like, are you really serious? Are you really going to say yes to this? And you do it and you're putting the energy out there and they know you're serious. So they align and create a new opportunity that is absolutely spot on. This has happened to me several times throughout my life. One of the examples I said before on the podcast I felt like I wanted to be on stage. I wanted to have a speaking opportunity. And I took a speaking program. I actually took the program. And an opportunity came out where I could apply for a speaking gig. Well, I did not get it. Kind of looked at my guides like, yeah, okay. But, you know, at least I learned a little bit more about speaking. Then within 48 hours, an opportunity that was so much better came into my lap and I didn't do a thing. I just said, yes. Now, of course, when I got on that stage, I was so nervous, but it's because I'd never done it before and I did it and it was amazing. So just know that even if it's a no, you're still putting your energy out there. Now, the second reason is that you need to learn lessons and this happens quite a bit. So sometimes we sign up for one thing and we learn a different thing about ourselves. In that situation, I learned that I had more confidence in my speaking ability. So say yes, even when it feels real freaking scary. Okay, so you basically need to have this conversation with your spirit guides. This is what I'm committing to. Please help me with creating new opportunities and removing obstacles to the path. When they do this, they will present you with opportunities to remove those obstacles, and they will also take you on astral travels, which a lot of people think are dreams. Astral travel is usually very vivid when you remember it, and you will be taken to different situations and different people to help you work on that so that you can grow as a spirit. I also want to talk about the new year energy and the theme that a lot of people will choose or a word that a lot of people will choose. So I've done this. I chose flow for last year. And let me just tell you, spirit presented opportunities for flow to happen. The great news is by the end of the year, I really did feel like I was in flow. I let go of control. I was more spontaneous. I would try to plan things and either those things didn't work out or my energy just wouldn't plan it. It just couldn't. And so I leaned more into spontaneity. And when I chose this, I started to realize I wasn't getting a whole lot of future messages from my guides. And when I would ask, they would say, just step into it, just experience it. We're not going to tell you much about it. You know, we just want you to experience the whole thing. One reason for that is to calm any anxiety. So I thought that was really clever of them. But When I chose that theme and that word, it also felt really uncomfortable for a couple months because unexpected situations would pop up. 
and it wasn't in my comfort zone. So when you choose your word or theme of the year, just know that your guides are going to create it as well. If you choose to have a word of the year or theme of the year, I want you to DM me on Instagram and tell me what you've chosen. The new year brings us new energy. And as I mentioned before, if you want to start or pivot your spiritual business, I hope that you go to messengerspirit.com forward slash SBI to apply for my six month program. And in the spirit of entrepreneurship, I've invited some badass spiritual entrepreneurs onto this podcast. Some of them are guests inside of my spiritual business incubator program. And that's our theme for this month. So happy new year. My wish for you is this new year and this new energy brings all of those dreams and desires and manifest them abundantly in alignment with your path. Next week, I've got an amazing guest. So stay tuned. But until then, here's to staying spiritual and ambitious. Thanks so much for listening to this episode. And if you loved it, would you please share it with a friend? I would also love your review and a reminder to subscribe so you never miss an episode. You can find me at messengerspirit.com and you can take the four intuitive languages quiz and find show notes there too. If you want to connect on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, you can find me at messenger of spirit. If you want to continue the conversation, join my free Facebook group at messengerofspirit.com forward slash group. I'll meet you right here next week. Here's to stand spiritual and ambitious. This podcast is part of the Sound Advice FM network. Sound Advice FM, women's voices amplified.